Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to read the text from the image using Google Apps Script. So to read the text we are going to use the OCR concept which is available on Google Docs to uh, retrieve the text present on the images. So I already put the list of uh, URLs which contain uh, text in the image. Let's have a look at few. So this is a PNG text. This is a PNG image uh, which contains some text over here and this is one more sample PNG image which contains some text and this is one JPG image with a sample text here. So I just took all these links uh, by simple Google search and put it over here. Let's see how to retrieve the text and populate it in the second column. So let's create a GS file to write a script. So this is where we are going to write our function. Let's name this function as the read text from image. So first, uh, let me create an object uh, for this sheet get image text. Let's name this object as sh1 and use the method get active spreadsheet dot get sheet by name pass the sheet name here and I need to find the last row so that I can use the for loop to loop from the row to till the last row so let's determine the last row with a variable l row sh1 dot get last row so this method return the last row count for this get image text sheet now i'm going to use a simple for loop start from the second row because the first row here is a header so i don't want to read the content here and i lesser than or equal to l row and i plus plus so that's it now we created the for loop and inside the for loop i'm going to get the url let's name this as url let's use a get range so my url is present in the first column let's use the iteration variable i and the column number as one and get the value of the url So this one return the URL value which is present in the column A during each iteration. Now let's create one more variable called image blob. So now we are going to make a fetch request to fetch the image which is present on the website and store it inside our drive as a blob file so let's see how to do that we have to use an url fetch app dot fetch and you should pass the url thus we already created a variable for the url just you need to pass that url here and get blob file So as I mentioned uh, earlier, we are going to save this image inside the Google Doc. So to save an image inside the Google Doc, you need two things. One is a, a resource type and the options such as OCR is enabled for that particular uh, image or not. So those details you need to pass up. So let me create two variables, one for the resource. And here I'm going to um, add to object title as image blog dot get name and mime type. So mime type is going to be uh, the image format. So let's determine that using this image blog dot get content type. So this will take care of finding the mime type and let's create one more variable called option and here you need to specify that 
OCR option is enabled. So OCR is true. So we created the uh, two necessary variables here. Now let's create a variable called doc file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make use of the drive API to insert uh, the images inside the Google Doc. So I'm going to use drive and if you see here it's not showing the intelligence it's showing a drive app because we need to add the services here so click on the service here and scroll down and look for google drive so this is a drive api which you need to select select this one and click on add so now we added the drive services now we can make use of this drive class dot files i want to insert the file and this accept three argument one is a resource so which we already created and the next one is a block type so which is also we already created it's an this variable will take care of that and the third one is an optional arc. this is where we need to pass the OCR option so let's pass this variable so now it will insert this image inside our drive as a Google Doc now we are going to make use of the document app to read the document like how we are using the spreadsheet app to read the content inside this spreadsheet so let's use a document app dot open by id so this document app dot open by id in the background it open the document based on the id which we given here so we already know the doc file details and with help of this doc file we can get the id of the doc so during each iteration a document will be created and the downloaded image will go inside that particular document that is how the script will get executed so now we determine the respective doc now it's a time to read the text present inside the image let's name this variable as a text use a variable doc and inside the doc we need to get the body use the get body and we have a method called get text so which read the text inside the image so that's it with help of this one we are we can able to read the text now it's time to put that text in the column d so let me use the sh1 variable get a range i variable will take care of finding the row and the column is the second column here dot set value the value is a text we got from the doc so this will uh, read the image text and put it over here but in the drive we have five different docs created because of this five different url and we don't want that image in the drive so we can delete that once we read the text present inside the images so to delete that you can use the same drive dot files you can use a method remove where you need to pass the document id we already know the variable doc file dot id will have the document id so that's it save the project now click on the run here now let's see whether the text is populating here or not so the execution begins so you can see that it's reading the text present inside the images and populating on the google sheet one by one so that's it the script is completed let's check that out uh, let me go to this file so this is actually a png file starts with the etiologic and ends on disease 
we got the same over here let me open one more file this is a jpg file it contains this is sample text text is a different region this is sample text and text is a different region so that's it now you know how to read the text in the images with a simple google app script if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye